Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial. So last time we saw how to add two numbers together and this time we're going to try and add three numbers together. Now to do this we're going to have to add a line or two of code underneath here. Now what we're going to have to do first is store the result of adding the first two numbers together. So if I go STA num1 it's actually going to store the result of adding the second number and the first number together and what we can then do, now we've stored it, we can take another input, another number, and we can add the result of the first two additions back on, which I've called num1. So let's see this work. I'm going to assemble it into RAM, and I'm going to run the program. So I'm going to put 2 in, and 2 has been stored in mailbox number 9. That's this command here, sta num1. So it's now waiting for me to input another number. So if I put, I don't know, 3, hit enter, you'll see this now changes to 5. So num1, where I've stored it again here, is now 5 and not the original value. It's the result of the addition that's now been stored in number one, num1. So now it's waiting for another number to be entered. So if I enter in, say, 3, hit enter, we get an output of 8, which is exactly what we wanted, just simply by overwriting here the original value with the addition of the two numbers and then adding the result of that back together to a third input, and the program works. Now, as you notice, 8 hasn't been stored anywhere because we didn't ask it to. Yeah, Right here, we just took an input. We didn't store it. We just added the num1 there, which was 5 after doing the first edition, onto the top of the frame. And we get the result we want. So that's how to add three numbers together. Have a go at this, and then try to perhaps subtract a number. And to subtract a number, you would, for example, change this here to sub, to subtract. So have a go at that, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.